feels pretty confident and competent in being able to differentiate between code written by a proper developer team and, and code, you know, written by AI. So uh, this is a topic area that falls under our CTO, uh, Chief Technology Officer, who is a, a software developer actually specifically in AI and ML for some of the largest dental corporates and is an expert in this space. Uh, and I, I'll tell you, I'm not a software developer. I have maybe taken a couple of courses myself. I know the bare minimum uh, to be to be reasonably educated on it, um, but absolutely would not be relied upon to write any kind of code or review any kind of code, right? Um, just enough to maybe basically know the vo vocabulary. Um, so from my perspective, leading this fund, leading this CTO, leading our diligence process, right? My understanding is as follows, because it, it's it seems like a bigger concern to me, a non-developer, than it is to him. He feels pretty confident and competent in being able to differentiate between code written by a proper developer team and, and code you know written by AI. And the way it was explained to me is as follows, that AI today, I don't know about tomorrow, but AI today is able to essentially tell you what what either you should already know or what you should expect to hear. So in, the, in this case, it's gonna write amateurish code, right? Code that you probably could have come up with yourself if you were sort of a fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade level, yes. right? That's where this, you know, this, the, today's ability for AI to write code sort of sits, right? What it isn't going to do is it's not going to get creative and write, you know, sort of new solutions or new infrastructure, right? It isn't going to write, you know, either senior level code or creative code. The other thing it's not going to do is it's not going to take into account essentially the, the humanistic elements that are involved, right? It's not going to take into account some of these humanistic elements. And so to our CTO, they're able to kind of pick this out, right?